Hi, welcome. As part of this video, we are going to look into the medium problem find largest value in each tree row. Okay, first let me go through the problem description. You need to find the largest value in each row of a binary tree. You have given a binary tree and you need to go through the each row of binary tree and you need to find maximum for that row. In this example, the first row we have only one value which is maximum. And in the second row we have two values 3 and 2, maximum is 3. And in the third row we have three values 5, 3 and 9, maximum is 9. So like that we need to go through the each row of binary tree and we need to find maximum for that row. That is what problem is asking. When we see this problem, the thing comes into our mind is that level order traversal. So here uh, we can actually traverse level by level of this binary tree and we can find maximum value for each level and we can actually give the results. So let's try with the level order traversal. We can do level order travels of a binary tree using BSF approach. So here we need a Q in BSF. Let me check. This Q actually will take tree node. So first of all, let me add this root to the queue. While queue is not empty, we need to iterate over the queue. Uh, before that, let me get the size of the queue. This is to get the level order. We need to go through the size and high plus plus. Uh, here we can actually take list of integers to store the current uh, level values. Okay, so now let me get the tree node here, current node equal to q dot remove. Now let me add the current node value to the current level. Now check whether the current node having the left and right nodes as well. If it is having left node, then we should add that left node to the queue for further processing. And also if it is also if it is having the right node also we need to add the right node to q okay now we got current level object and we need to get the maximum maximum value from the current level right so for that I am going to use collections method collections dot max. Actually this collections dot max method will return us the maximum value from the list. So int max. 
so this max value we can actually add to the result let me define the result result list last we can return the result list okay hmm. but for a edge case let us write if the root is null then we'll simply return the empty list yeah that's it let me submit the code yeah success that's it if you like this video please like it and subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you very much for watching this